Welcome back. It is time now for our next community conversation. We are joined by Helen Dunn, Deputy Public Affairs and Strategic Communications Officer for Albemarle County Public Schools. Thank you as always for yeah, being here with us. Yeah, happy to be here. Always yes. good to see you all. It is always good to yeah. see you and we always love talking with you. We're talking today about some of the legislative workings mm -hmm. that go on in ACPS. Mm -hmm. What are some of those? Yeah, so we actually have, and I think it's something that people really don't know about school divisions, that many of them, the larger ones especially, have pretty robust legislative programs, which is to say that they work with their state delegates, state senators, to decide what kinds of bills would benefit public education, make those bills turn into laws, and, and do a lot of you know work around um, advocacy, all of that kind of thing. So just today we had um, new delegate Katrina Carlson, who used to be on the Almaw County School yeah. Board. We had new delegate Amy Lawfer, and we had um, Senator Cree Deeds in our office today. So we, we spoke with them about a few things and we actually have um, this really great legislative agenda that our office creates. And, um, and it talks a lot about things that would benefit the school division. So um, just this past uh, July, I believe it was, um, something called the Joint Legislative Audit and Review Committee wrote a report on the funding of K through 12 education, as well as the teacher pipeline and recruiting. So those are really things that we're focusing on this year to make sure that we can advocate for the things we know would benefit our schools, our students, our employees, and ultimately our families and community as well. That's wonderful. Yeah. Stuff that's so important. Yes. Um, what are some of the top priorities mm -hmm. this time of year? Yeah, so we are really concerned with capital funds. We need, we always need capital funds. Um, we have uh, 10 schools that within the next decade or maybe more are going to be over capacity, well over capacity. So, um, and we currently have learning cottages. We have over 100 learning colleges, of, uh, affectionately known as learning cottages, but really trailers. Yeah. And I think those are wonderful for some people. Some teachers prefer them, some students do, because they can be really modern. They offer quite a lot of good resources in there. But that is to say that it's partly because the school itself, you know, hasn't been updated in many cases in 20, 30 years. We haven't built a new school in, in uh, over 20 years. Yeah. So um, it's really important for us, and most of our schools are over 50 years old. So you can imagine with technology moving as quickly as it does, it's incredibly important for us to get funding for the state to help us modernize. Um, one thing we're looking at there is um, local taxing authorities. So the ability for the um, locality, in this case, obviously Almall County, to raise a sales tax locally, which would create revenue for the area and ultimately the school division. So yeah. that's one of our big priorities. Another one is advocating for scholarships for teachers. Teacher recruitment is an enormously important thing, and we have wonderful teachers in Almall County Public Schools, and we've got to keep that up. Yeah. We've got to keep recruiting them. Um, so part of that is the cost of education is high, and we know that those college programs for teachers, those teacher preparatory programs, can be expensive. So one thing we're advocating for is for the state to fund more scholarships that would provide more teachers to, to bring into school divisions like ours yeah. and ultimately maintain that high quality of teachers that we know we need to serve our students and families well. Yeah, such a good goal. Uh, finally, yeah. real quick before we go, where can people yeah. go to learn more and get involved? Yeah, so we've now that this legislative agenda is as everything's approved and we've had our meeting, we'll put this up on the website. So that should be available by tomorrow. Um, people can look at that. They can always do advocacy. They can reach out to state delegates and senators. They can contact me at my email address, which is very available. But we want to hear from people. We want them to come talk to us about things that they care about and would like to advocate for with us. Great stuff. Yeah. It's going to be a great new year. Yeah. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here. Thank you. Of yes. course. It's we'll my have you pleasure. back soon. Thank <laughs> <Yes>. you. <laughs> we will be right back.